How has the pandemic affected state parks and trails here in Minnesota? People have really just been driven to the outdoors. When the pandemic first hit, Rachel Hopper with the DNR says they didn't know what to expect. Many national outdoor experts were thinking reservations at parks and trails would take a nosedive, and they did at first, but then a funny thing happened. We saw very, very high levels of use, like uh, 200, 300 percent normal use levels. That's right. Some of the most popular parks were nearly two to three times busier than normal. Normal. Statewide, both permits and trail use went up by 50%, and overnight camping went up by 33%. Attendance-wise, more than 12.3 million people visited Minnesota parks and trails last year. That's a 25% jump, a higher increase than the DNR saw the last 15 years combined. Why do you think we saw these crazy increases. We're thinking just the stress of the pandemic overall um, helped to drive people outdoors. And it was just a relief to get outdoors and do something. With so many other things closed, our state parks and trails remained open all, all last year. It's kind of like, almost like therapy for some people. There is so much data that shows uh, there's, there's direct health benefits to getting outdoors and into nature, both physical and mental and emotional. And so we really saw that this last year. And besides the regulars who show up every year, Hopper says they also saw a lot of first timers. We're looking forward to hoping to continue that relationship with people and encourage them to get outdoors again this year. And what are we seeing so far this year? Levels of visitation have been going up again and we now with our reservation data showing that um, reservations are higher than normal as well. During the last normal year 2019, the DNR saw just over 131,000 overnight reservations. So far this year, they've seen 183,000, a 39 percent jump. There still are reservations out there, so if uh, your favorite park may be booked up for whatever weekend you're planning, um, there's still 74 other state parks and recreation areas that you can go visit. So some Summing everything up, if you're looking at making a trip, you should get those reservations in now. If you can. <laughs> or be a little flexible about what time, what time of the week you go or where you go. But we are looking for an extremely great year. We're looking to welcome people back. You heard them talk about first timers, you know, like myself, I'm not from Minnesota. So a lot of those kinds of things would be the first time for me. And that's great because if you're like me, the DNR has programs for first timers to get you started. And they're also trying to bring in more diversity to our parks and trails, giving everyone a chance to enjoy equal access and an entry point like me. All right, we'll be right back.